Let me first off start by saying this peer group has been amazing. Thank you all for having me and inviting me to be a part of something so special um, to add my voice and my insight to the group and also for the amazing people that I've met from all over the United States who've shown me so much, taught me things that I didn't know that I never considered or even thought about. It's been great. Like a lot of times, like when you're in a small congregation like I am, and then it's just one group of people, a lot of things like racism and things like that, it doesn't come up. You know what I mean? It doesn't really apply in certain situations, so you never think about it. But when I went to um, Arizona um, a month or so ago, just to hear everybody's insight on what they're dealing with and, you know, our brothers and sisters that are brown and you know, immigrants and people that are being locked away unjust, unjustly in cages and, and fences and things like that. It, it just makes you think because you never really think about these things because you're not dealing with it on a day-to-day -day basis. So just to learn what everybody is going through, it gives you a whole nother insight on things. Like me being African-American, of course, we're we're always saying how things are unfair for us and how we're treated and we look down upon. But when you learn that it's Asians, it's Hispanics, it's even, you know, Caucasians that are being treated that way, you know, by some African-Americans. These are things that we never consider or even think about many of us. So just to learn that it's not just me, it's not just us, it's us as a group, it's us as disciples, as us as human beings. It gives you a fresh insight on things and it makes your outlook and your perspective that much different. So being a part of this group has been amazing. Even when we went to Kentucky and all of the things that they're doing for their returning citizens and programs and, and job opportunities and all of these things to help the returning citizens get back on their feet, psychological things that they're dealing with, PTSD, all of these things that I've learned has helped me with my brother Jeffrey. He's been incarcerated 13 years. He's been home now maybe six weeks. Even before he walked out of those prison walls, I was already sharing all of the information that I learned from going to Louisville, from the, the seminars and the workshops and doctor, I can't remember her name, that did that wonderful, wonderful slideshow presentation and taught us about PTSD and how to handle returning citizens carefully. I've been soaking everything in. I've been sharing it with my congregation. I've been sharing it with other people that I come across and it's inspired me to have these same, I want to do an open panel in my congregation for returning citizens so they can tell the young men in our neighborhoods and from wherever, this is not what you want to do. This is not the way to go. You have help. You have God, number one, first and foremost, and you have resources. You know, there's always going to be somebody out there if you open yourself up that's willing to help you. So it's been great. It, this experience has so far been great. I look forward to it. If I was ever asked to be on another one when this one ends, sign me up. I'm for it. I love what the NBA does and stands for. And I love Mission Behind Bars. That's a big passion of mine um, to start a prison ministry at my church. And all of the things that NBA is doing, I think it's great. Hey, Hector, Monica, Tiffany, everybody. Love you guys. Thanks for having me.